Good. How are things going in quarantine right now? You know, obviously, if things are back to normal, you'd be touring right now, but it's got to be kind of nice to have a little bit of time at home. Um, you know, it is nice. I found that I do enjoy other things besides touring and working, like deer hunting, um, which I mean, I've done that my whole life. But just to have the time to go do it, it's like, man, I had really kind of forgotten that I can go do other things than what I do for a living. You know, you're from Texas and you grew up playing guitar and writing music. How did you get to start in music at such a young age? Well, really, I think it was my older brother, kind of, uh, he's six years older than me. Um, and he was kind of had a knack for writing songs and playing guitar at a really young age. And I didn't even know that that's what I wanted to do. I just was doing what Big Brother was doing. What do you think you would be doing if it wasn't music? They're pouring concrete or selling cars. Okay, let's talk about Pretty Heart because this song is taking over the country charts. You know, you said yourself that you didn't love it when you first wrote it, but obviously seeing the success of it now, are you realizing your instincts are a little bit wrong? Yes, and you know, on that last record, Probably Wrong, there was a song on there, I Can't Breathe, that um, was really big for us, and I didn't want to cut that song either. So it's not the first time I've been wrong. You know, when, when I was cutting the vocals in the studio, and you know, I, was, I said to myself, you know, I was like, this song is, is actually really good. As soon as I write, so it just never seems good enough right away. And then, you know, I'll come around to it a little bit later. And huge congratulations on your EP, Hollywood Gold. You just dropped it, but it's already become the best-selling EP of 2020. Tell me a little bit about the project. You know, we were full-time touring these last two years and um, finding time to write was really kind of killing me because I was flying to Nashville every week, riding and then flying back to the road, flying to Nashville, flying back to the road. Um, and so I, I kind of wrote a lot of those songs real late night. And, and so when it came time for Hollywood Gold to be put together, we just kind of, you know, I think again, we were throwing darts and seeing what stuck and, and those six were the ones. So most of the songs you wrote yourself, but there is a song on there that you cut that was written by Chris Stapleton. How was it when you got that song? Did it feel like a perfect fit? It's, when I sent it to my dad, when the label had sent me the song, he said the same thing. He was like, he thought I'd written it. Just because it sounds, it fit on this EP and, and everything else that I was, you know, spitting out at the time, Like a Cowboy kind of just hung right in there with him. You couldn't tell any difference. When man, and we cut the song, I knew it was good. Um, so I didn't have to second guess anything. I really enjoyed that part of it. You've talked about the fact that your parents, you know, when you first started your career, you would get really excited uh, when songs would be blowing up the charts. How are they feeling about Pretty Heart? I have a gold record on my wall now, and so I got my dad one. I got my mom one too, she doesn't know it yet. Um, it really is, not even to sound goofy or anything. I mean, it's like really cool to see how proud they are to be like, that's my kid, you know, or like send their friends or their friends call them. They're like, we heard pretty hard on, you know, the radio in Buffalo, New York or something like that. And so I think they, it's really kind of it, it cool just for me to watch them kind of get to enjoy it and be like, just so proud. And I kind of nudge my brother and sister. I'm like, hey, I'm winning, you know, so. And when we are back to touring the way we know how, who is someone you would want to tour with dead or alive? If I could go on a full tour with someone and play my 30 minute opening set and then go watch their show from side stage every night for 45 nights. It'd have to be John Mayer or George Strait. Amazing, Parker. Huge congrats on the EP and thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you so much. I appreciate you putting up with me and just giving me a little bit of your time.